We've played Battle for Bikini Bottom before. How about we play another classic SpongeBob game? Hi everyone, it's me, Gaming2, and welcome to my next gameplay video where we play a game that I've honestly probably been waiting to play for for years on this channel. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. And yeah, why don't we just get started by playing it now? Um, I've actually played this before on, um, here, but, spoiler, this is an emulator. I'm sorry, but anyways, um, without further ado, here we go, some Spongebob movie game. Welcome to our little tale of woe, There's triumph against impossible Spongebob odds, terror, and managerly and responsibility. Our story the begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait, I'm He's the new manager, yes. We know that. Alright, here we go. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Oh. I haven't played this well since that day whenever I played that. I played this on my emulator on uh, January 2021, I think it was. I meant to download it to play it on the channel, but I guess I got caught up playing it regularly or something else or something like that. I don't remember, but anyway. Today we're playing the other SpongeBob uh, six gen game that we did play, um, the movie game. We played, uh, I believe, it was either two or three parts of Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I would love to play that again. But I'm afraid of getting the same response that I got to one of my crack videos where. Basically, some guy was able to just get the remastered version of the like, short slide from manager to I appreciate the feedback and stuff like that, but uh, I actually have the remastered uh, insane, insane trilogy now. But um, back when that came out, I don't even think it was out, so how could I have gotten that? It was like brand thing to do. Manager. Okay. Um, so. Okay, let's. Oh, get a Krabby Patty, because apparently these jellyfish are staying on me. Plankton Box is getting smashed. Plankton Box is getting smashed. Oh, 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 You know what I was planning on playing before this, but because basically it's freaking impossible and freezes whenever I try to record it. They have a new, I don't know if it's brand, well it is called Club Penguin, but I don't know if it's like brand new or like over a year old or something like that, but some person did a, uh, basically created Club Penguin again to where you can play it after Disney shut it down, which is another one of Disney's biggest mistakes. Maybe able um, to break through some weak objects in the world. Now, having a lot of their franchises go down the road. I'm not just saying that because I'm some butler fanboy, but I will full heartedly admit I did like Thor Love and Thunder from the MCU, but it was nowhere near my favorite MCU film. That would probably be like number 15 or 16. And Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was near the bottom for me. That film almost worked in no way. So, um, yeah. And in Star Wars, I honestly, pretty recently, I think it was a couple weeks ago, I rewatched The Force Awakens, which is the one film I thought I liked, and even then I'm like, 
still nowhere near what pre the original trilogy, so yeah, a lot of Disney's properties are going down and yeah. Who are you? I'm the manager of this establishment. Everything is gonna be just oh, fine. Actually really, really quick, speaking of things you got a going name? downhill. What do you think about Come the on, Warner Phil, Brothers stay with me. I've only got one and the shot fact at this. That everything Gotta have on the right tool HBO for the job. Max is basically getting destroyed. Bingo. Well, I want you to do lovely. me a favor, Bill. What? Not like uh, say cheese. I'm gonna freaking uh, cancel my subscription to HBO Max. I probably won't, but still, I won't be watching it as much. And Warner Brothers completely canceling the Batgirl movie, which is like. I wasn't terribly disappointed about, but I was like, what are they going to cancel next? Hey. If they cancel the Batman hey, 2, on, that's, that's just... Huh? I, I'm going to be pissed. Whoa. Because it's eight the in Batman the morning. spoiler Whoa. is my favorite Looks film like of 2022 funny. so far. Hey, I adore buddy. that movie. Come on up here and join the and party! If they cancel it, I, I'm going to be very mad. But... Let's get back to Spongebob. My experience with this game is actually... It's still a childhood game for me, but a lot less so than Battle for Bikini Bottom. I played the movie game... Starting when I was like... I got this game for the first time when... The local GameStop opened in my town, probably like 9 or 10 years ago. So yes, I was probably like 10 when I played this game for the first time, but I was like... I knew this game had the same engine and battle for Bikini Bottom, so I wanted to play it. Yeah, so technically I actually didn't really grow up with it. Well, yes, I did, but this was surprisingly later in my childhood compared to when I played. I probably played Battle for the Bottom. Like, I think I got this game in 2012, and. I played Battle for Bikini Bottom, I believe, in 2005. For the first time, I was like four years old then, so I was like eight, seven, eight years of anyway. I still love this game and have a lot of childhood memories with it, but not quite to the degree of Battle for Bikini Bottom. And in general, it's just not quite as good as Battle for Bikini Bottom. Because this does follow the story of the movie, and honestly, I can kind of find a little bit of an absence not being able to play as Sandy, which is fun. I love their, uh, growth in Battle for Bikini Bottom. As for if we're gonna play Battle for Bikini Bottom again, well, I may as well announce it here. Yeah. I am going to be completely remaking it. And I'm going to be starting from the start. Because it's been way too long since I did the last part. Probably like five years ago. So, there's no way I'm going to be able to. Well, I, I could continue from where we left off. But I may as well just reboot it. So I think we're going to reboot it. That will be out... Probably relatively soon. Not this week or anything, but maybe... Maybe before my 21st birthday, which is, um... Oh. My 21st birthday is, uh... Three weeks from today, actually, so... 
we might be doing the next part of this, Battle for Bikini. The remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom in less than three weeks. And as if it's going to be the rehydrated version. If I'm being honest, I lean on no. Because to me personally, I like the original version a little bit better. You will. Just bring me more goofy goober That being said, the graphics are much better than the rehydrated version. You can definitely play it on the computer. But I get to buy it on Steam. Well, we'll go see. I might just go ahead hydrated but I just genuinely like the original version on the sex gen console better so I might just do um that instead but we'll see here we go first arena battle go no I'm not talking about Fortnite Oh my god, I got so much shit in this game. Oh, one soul at a time. Yeah, they freaking give you these big graded levels in order to get goofy goober tokens. And after a while, it got irritating. Some of the later ones were really tough. It might even still be tough to this day. Like I said, I'm not sure. I haven't played this game since 2021. And I only got that for the first level then, but it wasn't for a lack of trying, it was because, well, basically kind of, yeah, it was, because I didn't really play it, I didn't really want to play it at the time. Now I'm just looking to play this game again, I haven't played it yet. Probably I haven't played it in, like, ten years? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Yeah, since I first played it, I think. Oh my god, I'm having a bit of a brain fart, I'm sorry guys. Um, last time I played this game in full, I think it was like 2015 probably? Yeah, 2015, that sounds about right. I remember playing this pretty damn often back then. And, yeah, clearly, well, my gaming skills have gotten better compared to how I was in even 2015, but still. At three left. Come on. These just lose Macho. Last wave. I believe this one's the hardest one, though. But, if we don't defeat them, you know what happens, guys? Why, what happens, guys, is... We get to start all the way down all over again. And that's just gonna be a mess. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. There's only 35 left. Okay. Hot damn. Yeah, what I also like more about Battle for Bikini Bottom is that this game is way more linear in that there's all sorts of unique challenges to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Well, in the movie game, not quite as much though. Like, there's just a lot of different arena battles and stuff like that. Uh, this is getting overwhelming. I hope we don't lose. Come on. Only 13 creatures that shit. Shit, 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 Got these two fatties left and then we're done. One more. Get out of here. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, 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 oh. 
thoughts from the Simpsons movie, if you didn't get it. When Nelson was laughing at Bart being tied up by the police on the pole. That was funny. But anyways, um, let's see. Alright, let's go get our power up. How do I always forget that? Come on, Mindy. Okay, Patrick. I better be able to roll the power up. Oh my god, this kid is 18 years old now. Oh, <laughs> oh, we just do an ultimate spin around of all these things. Come on, Rock Patrick, let's do it. Yeah, now that I'm playing this for the first time in a while, I can definitely say this game is still very good. It's very enjoyable, but it's why didn't I think to do that? Oh my god. What is wrong with me? Um, Battle for the Team Bottom is far superior. It's just like I said, mainly because of how linear this game is. This game is really linear, and it's fun to buy at the same time. I suppose it's supposed to because it's the uh, Story. It's a story-driven movie, and this is obviously based off of the SpongeBob movie. And yeah. And with that said, this is still probably the second best SpongeBob game out there. It plays great, but not a bit of the bottom, and it's a lot of fun, but just a little too linear to be like that. What, probably 9 out of 10 that battle for the game bottom is the this would be probably a... Uh, I don't know, like 6, but... Probably 7.5 or 8. We'll probably upgrade SpongeBob first with power because we play as him slightly more in this game than Patrick. So we can, or can we only do that with Patrick? Right, let's see. Let's get SpongeBob an extra variety spin. Since I think we play as him slightly. Oh, I can see this is clearly lagging a little bit. Oh, dang.
there you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's eight in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, eight o'clock. I hate the ice cream workers supposed Mr. to say Krabs that. Mr. Krabs is going to kill me. Oh. Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Mr. Neptune Krabs is going to try Krabs. to rip off King Neptune. You want to do... Well, let's do a sandwich driving, and then we'll quit for today, I think. Make this about a half an hour. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start. This road will take you through SpongeBob. Not. All right. You go driving. Oh, no, let's do that. Let's do that. But the chickens are the neutrons. Wow, 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 Crashes and stuff like that. I'm thinking this, at least this game has like driving levels and stuff like that. To make it a little bit unique. So for a SpongeBob game, this isn't completely unoriginal, but. Okay, Mindy, but 
for now, that seems to be about it, guys. I hope you guys like this walkthrough of SpongeBob movie video game. This is only the first part. Um, when we come back, we will be playing 3,000 miles to Shell City. And, yeah, I hope you guys like this gameplay. And that's about it. Gaming Dew here. See you later. Bye.